Good day and welcome to the Procon YouTube channel. My name is Michael Klomp and I'm a technical support consultant at Procon. Today I'm going to do a quick overview of the composite continuous beam design module. This video will discuss some of the fundamental input parameters of the module, a summary of the design results and an overview of the results displayed in the calc sheet. The module currently supports Eurocode 4 and also provides you with the option to import your country's national annexure parameters. The module allows you to choose either an unpropped or fully propped construction method. In the model parameters dialog box, you can specify the dead and live load factors for the loading, as well as the creep and combination factors as per the specified design code. The module allows you to save load and apply all model defaults for any newly constructed sections along the length of the composite being being designed. The section tab is very similar to what is displayed in the composite beam section module. However that being said, the tab has the following added to it. It requires you to specify the actual width of the concrete section displays the calculated equivalent section line loads for the concrete, temporary formwork and steel beam and most importantly it allows you to add multiple sections to cater for hogging and sagging moments along the length of the beam. In the spans tab you can specify the length of multiple sections and where you would like the various sections applied along the length of the beam. module allows you to specify different support types and fixities. You can choose a vertical fixed or cantilever support fixity or you can specify either a permanent or construction support type. The loads tab allows you to specify different loading types for different load cases. You can choose a dead, live or construction load case and you can add line loads, point loads or moments at any location along the length of the beam. In the checks tab, the module displays a summary of the checks according to the selected design code for each defined section along the length of the beam. You can toggle between the various sections to evaluate what result either passed or failed for the selected section. The utilization tab displays critical maximum and minimum moments and shear force utilization and resistant results for all defined spans according to the chosen construction method type. Should you have specified an unpropped construction method, you'll be able to toggle between both the construction and composite results and then evaluate the results accordingly. The design tab then also allows you to view the deflection moments and shear force diagrams for the different load cases, combinations and envelopes. The calc sheet will display the project specific input parameters, a summary of the section design checks, as well as the construction and composite utilization checks. It will also display the deflection, moment, and shear force diagrams for the different design envelopes. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For more tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications.